Hey everybody, I wanted to show what I'm going to do to get my WISE camera a better connection signal and stop it from dropping to zero KB on the feed. As you all know, many of you are experiencing 20s, 30s, drops to zero and the feed stops for a while. And my router is about 50 feet from my outdoor camera looking at the cars here. So I'm going to make a modification and we will see how it works. But right now, here's how mine typically goes for a connection. There it goes. You saw the connection not stable. There's actually 108, 71, 91, 57, 45 and dropping, 20s. And then it'll drop to zero and just fade out. So it's very unstable and a bit iffy as you can see. Oh, there's 16 and getting ready to die. There it goes, zero at the top left. So here, I'm gonna make my modifications. We'll come back and see how it does. All right, everybody, here's how I put in an external 8 dBi antenna into my WISE cams using the outdoor mount on Amazon, of course. I did, I got this pack, I'll put a, a link on it in there to add this SMA with this little clip here that goes onto the circuit board and I drilled a hole just big enough to fit this part through on the very highest part I could from the inside because the wall of the back of the, uh, the camera actually touches here and I needed room for this here to have uh, room with the camera at the same time when it's all the way inserted. I have another video of how I did this a different way. I'll put it up in its full length. It's kind of lengthy, but this way it turned out so much better. So live and learn. So I drilled a hole right at the top of, of the, uh, the cable run here. So I have the most length this way for this wire before it touches the camera. So I did a hole just big enough for it. Put the nut on there. SMA fits beautifully. Show real quick. So in the end, when it's all put together and mounted, there's plenty of room for the antenna to go sideways off the camera, up a little bit, down, however you might need it. So I found this to be my best way. And then to attach to the camera, I drilled this a hole just big enough for this little end piece to fit through right here to come through. And as you can see, I already popped off the little gold clip there on from the little antenna inside on the circuit board and it just simply clips in there. So I'm going to run from the back through here, just like this goes through. The camera will sit all the way in. And I'll just loop that in, connect it. Once that's on, simply put the base back on with these two little base screws, which you'll find super easy. These two little screws come off and the whole thing will literally just peel off in one shot. So take the, take your screws out, rotate the foot to the front and literally just pop it off like that. It will just pop off. So, so easy, very nice, just pop. And then you just need to get to that little gold clip right there. The original one will pop right off. The end of this guy will pop right on there. I'll put a link to the antenna I'm using and it'll fit in and look just like that. Nice and simple and will definitely increase your wireless. I've already done this antenna on another video, which I said I'll link on there and I have, it works great. I was just looking for a better way to do it. If you do watch that video, this is a much better way, faster way. It took me five minutes once I thought about how to, another way to attach this SMA to get to the outside of the case for my outdoor enclosure. That was my biggest problem with the last video. So I kind of sat and thought this one through a little bit more and come here, simply run through far less holes than you'll see in my other one and it'll all
just uh, connect together. So far easier than the last set. Just like that, comes through, attach, put the foot on, case on, and you got a nice, nice looking antenna out the back. All right, hope that helps. That's how I'm going to start doing it. Um, any comments, let me know. That's how I did it this time. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Here it is, back online. New antenna. It, there it is. Everything's out there running. And look at that. I'm at 7,701, 81, 99, 80. We'll let it run here for just a minute. I'm standing in the garage. That's why you hear a double feed. One from the camera as it comes through and one right in the garage. But 104, 74, 105. No more 40s so far. Conditions are the same. It's still snowing out, as you can see by the cars. 82, and I'm 113. Never saw that one. Well, rarely, excuse me. Quite pleased. And that's just replacing the antenna. Love that. All right. That's how I did it. That's number one with a learning lesson. So hopefully that'll help others out there. But my connection looks far more stable, but I'll keep an eye on that as conditions change.